What's going on guys? It's Mr. DEBT, Joe Log from the Money Etiquette Group here with another IPO video for you. And this week we're talking about Calgary cannabis company, Sundial Growers. Sundial Growers was founded in 2006. It's a cannabis ornamental flower and edible herbs company. They have five facilities, uh, three in the UK and one in Calgary, I'm sorry, and two in Calgary. And they're working on a fourth facility uh, in the UK. So right now they have about 1.5 million square feet of operating space, and they're looking to expand that to 3.5 million by 2021. We'll see if that happens. And of course this IPO uh, and raising the funds from the IPO was a big part of making that a reality. But let's get into the numbers. This is a company that's not generating a lot of revenue at the moment, but they have great growth potential. Uh, as of first quarter 2000 or March 2019, I believe they only bought in a little over 1.5 or close to 1.5 million in revenues. But if they're able to complete their facility at the capacity in which they can produce and looking at the market value, they could earn up to 300 plus million dollars in revenue by the end of 2019 based on what their growth facilities can produce. Uh, right now, just to get the specifics on that, uh, they they are able to produce about 75, well, by the end of 2019, they'll be able to produce 75 million grams. And based on market value, that puts it at about $348 million in revenue. Now, of course, again, remember, that doesn't mean profits, but it's just speaking to their growth potential. And certainly they can grow beyond that. But right now they're saying by the end of 2019, they will be able to produce 75 million grams which again will equate to, based on market value, $348 million. Uh, right now, when it comes to their debt, they're heavily, I won't say in debt, but they are at least because of their debts, um, and they took a lot of loans to purchase their facilities, to get their manufacturing done. Um, because of that, and because of the growth rate that they're going uh, they're into, they're pretty much operating at a net loss. As of March 2019, they've lost $12.6 million. Okay, that's their net losses. And they're on pace, if you look at the last 12 months, I believe it's about 50 to $56 million in losses. Again, a lot of people don't like to see that as uh, investors, but you have to look at the growth potential of the company and look at what they'll do after they get these IPO funds. Right now, they're saying that that money won't be used to just pay off debt that money is gonna be used to acquire other companies in the cannabis world. It's gonna be used to make sure that production um, is completed at a maximum value. And honestly, they wanna make sure to do all renovations for their new facilities, which they're already building. So they're gonna expand their potential uh, capacity to produce more, which in the world of cannabis means a lot. And certainly, of course, they're not operating in the U.S. yet, but they're preparing for full legalization in the United States and to be able to operate instantly or pretty much immediately in the United States. So again, right now, they're in, Can they're in Canada, they're in the U.K., but they do look to expand in the U.S. and be ready as soon as you have federal legalization of marijuana. They want to be a big player in the cannabis industry. Also, they are going to be uh, invested in CBD and looking at the medical treatment for cannabis. Um, and they do have, and I'll attach a map, you'll see, they do have a plan on where they would like to operate. And we're talking about everywhere from the UK, even the United States, but all the way, all the way down to uh, South Africa and Johannesburg, which is another um, emerging market when it comes to cannabis. So this company really knows what it's doing. It has done its research on where to go because if you look at the places and locations they want to expand and they want to pretty much operate in and get profits from, you would know that these are all emerging markets when it comes to cannabis. So they look like they've done their homework and they're looking to expand in the right direction. Also, um, a lot of people may be put off again by their profits uh, and their revenues being low and they're not profiting, but if they successfully uh, complete this IPO and looking at it being between 12 to $14 a share, they're gonna raise uh, three, uh, actually $224 million after the IPO. And with that 224 million, again, they're gonna have that in cash. They're not gonna have that in debt. So keep that in mind, after the IPO, they do plan on having $224 million in cash on hand. Now, as of today, if you wanna know how much cash they have on hand, they have approximately $13 million in cash. And uh, with that, they also have $6 million of biological assets, meaning $6 million of product. 
that can reproduce, not stuff that's going to be shipped out, not inventory, which is ready to go out, but they're plants that produce more. So they have about $6 million in biological assets and $5 million in inventory that's waiting to be shipped out. So in total, when you look at all their assets, they have about $40 million in assets, but the most important thing to pay attention to again is that they have six million in biological assets so they are ready to produce more and they're ready to grow it shows that they're really setting up for expansion and i'm not going to say that they're, they're going to dominate the cannabis market but they certainly are going to be a major player when it comes to the second quarter of 2019 their revenues are actually expected to grow to 19 to 20 million remember first quarter was 1 million and now they're going to go to 19 to 20 million so that does speak to their growth potential and the fact that they are producing more than they did uh previously and with their new facilities uh it may not be fully up and operational but they're maximizing their production with their current facilities in the uk and also in canada so again, just a quick recap, Sundial Growers will be releasing their IPO this coming Thursday or Friday, I believe it's Friday, under ticker symbol SNDL. It will be on NASDAQ, again, SNDL. The price is gonna be between $12 to $14 per share. If it really gets hot, then expect to spend $20 to $25 per share. And that's still based on most estimates undervalued when it comes to the potential of the uh, growth potential and revenue potential of this company. It is not gonna be a company when you look at investments that you can say, okay, the numbers match today. You're really buying into the industry. You're buying into the legalization of cannabis in the United States. You're saying that they are gonna be a play in the CBD market and you see their plans to expand in different markets throughout the world. You're also believing that because they have the biological assets in a, a, ten, uh, in a tune to $6 million, that they're gonna be able to continually reproduce. And just as a nugget to put out there for you, just a little piece of information, the money that they get from the IPO, uh, the $224 million in cash, based on their current burn rate, meaning the rate that they're running through their cash, they would have that money or that money could last another five years. So they're not gonna go through that money instantly. And based on how they're expanding and their cash burn rate, uh, it would take them five years to get through all that money. So it looks like they do have the opportunity to make some good changes and make some good plays to expand. And then also I'm saying that they're betting on the legalization of cannabis on a federal level within the next five years. We'll see if it happens. You guys can invest if you want to. If you're not, that's up to you. I just wanted to put that out there for you. This is one of two IPOs that I'll be speaking about this week. So keep that in mind, guys. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, support the channel, hit the like button, because if you want to know what's coming out in the IPO market, you want to know what shares are coming out for the first time, this is the place to find that information. Talk to you guys soon. And don't forget, we also have other videos coming out about uh, the cryptocurrency market, about budgeting, about credit, buy, about credit repair, and also about home buying. We have everything you need right here on the Money Etiquette channel. Talk to you soon.